<laughs> hey everyone, today we're sharing. Hey everyone, today we're sharing what we've been up to the last couple months and some travel tips and tricks that we've learned the hard way. <laughs> I'm Jesse. I'm Jenny. And this is Tucker. Tucker! <laughs> Hello from Panama. Panama. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Not having it. Intro video. because we've been really busy. First, we bought a fixer up our house, which we'll use as a passive income to help fund our travels from here on out. All right, we're signing away. That's it, congratulations. <laughs> we own a house. <laughs> All right, I've already started uh, some land clearing in the backyard, trying to reclaim the jungle. And before I get too far along, I want to show you guys our backyard before the cleanup. Over here, you can kind of see the gazebo. It's just, uh, it's all wilderness. Gazebo is right over there. It's hard to see. Hey, babe. How's your new house? It's great. You want to come use the bathroom? Okay. Woo! <laughs> Is that heavy? That's big, huh? Ready to go to the house and install this thing? Just finished getting the last of the roof tear off and plated. So we have a naked roof over here. I've got a rope system here rigged up so I can, I can hook into the rope, go up and down the roof, and it's on a pulley, up there is on a pulley, so that it can go. I'll be able to travel back and forth as I go up and down. To give you guys an update here as it's live, uh, so much going on here. I'll show you. Look out the window here. The uh, here's here's the outer porch area. It's still, I have plywood to replace. Uh, we got to redeck the the porch. Uh, just just massive construction going on. But today was cool because t today we got the two. Biggest things that we've had to spend money on the roof and the flooring both are getting delivered today. So it's a, it's a big day. Alright. There you go. Now comes the fun part. Having to lug all of these things inside. I guess that's the most annoying thing with laminate flying. It's super easy to put in. But you're supposed to bring it into your house and let it acclimate to the temperature of your house for a few days before you install it. That way if it needs to swell or shrink. It does it before you install it. That was actually the issue we had moving into this house with the flooring that was already in here. It got all swollen and they didn't install it properly and so there were gaps and all sorts of issues. So, we're not gonna have that. All right, now comes the fun part. Now I have to video Jenny carrying all this one piece at a time or one box at a time in the house. So that'd be a lot of camera work for me. family come out and help yesterday for almost a whole day, uh, which was a big help, but this floor has kicked our butt. We've, we've actually, we've re the entire house. Upstairs, downstairs, bedrooms, kitchen, hallways, and uh, here's the last piece. I am excited to not be doing any more flooring for a while. There we go. All right, there it is. Floor is complete. Before we finished fixing the house, our son Tucker was hospitalized because curiosity got the best of him. Woo! Panama. <laughs> Unfortunately, 
Tucker got into some tiki torch fluid when we were at a friend's house for a party. Long story short, he was in the ICU for about 10 days. It was definitely one of the scariest moments of our lives, especially as parents, um, but it's been a really good reminder to not take this life we have for granted. <laughs> so we um, are allowed, we've been allowed the past couple days to bring Tucker outside. They gave us a little red wagon and we can pull him through the hospital and get him to this cute little outdoor area that they have for some fresh air. Baby shark getting loaded up. Baby shark's going home. Oh yeah. I'm going home. Finally. A week and three days later. Right? Three days, two days? I don't know. Too long. Ten, over ten days. Over ten days. <laughs> going home. was well and we were out of the hospital. We finished working on the house and here it is.
We'd been planning this trip to Panama for months, and although Tucker's stay in the hospital delayed us a little bit, as soon as we got the okay from his doctors, we were so excited to get moving and to get here. <laughs> All right, so I'm running around getting some last minute errands done. Uh, I've just left uh, State Farm out here uh, and I got all my camera gear over here, or at least most of the camera gear. They have uh, a personal articles policy I can get for the camera gear and it covers us wherever we go, even international travel, which is pretty cool. Um, we have several thousand dollars of camera gear and now it'd be pretty pain painful to, uh, to lose that and have to uh, replace it out of pocket. So uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know what I find out what the, the prices are, but I think it'll be a, a good way to kind of safeguard our investment and uh, minimize that risk as we travel because it'll be so easy for someone just to grab a bag or a bag to get lost or something to happen with all these moving parts and pieces. We're gonna have like six or seven bags ourselves because we're going for three months. So, uh, we got a lot to do. <laughs> we leave tomorrow, so we are uh, we're scrambling. We've got most of our stuff done, but now we just gotta put it all together. Last minute things, we gotta go to the RV today, dump the water out of our water tank. We gotta make sure that the uh, air conditions are set at a you know high enough where they're not running, but low enough where they do kick on every now and then. Keep uh, some air movement in the RV while we're gone. Uh, kitty litter. All kinds of stuff. We are leave, we're fleeing the country. I'm just kidding. We'll be out of the country for three months. Come on. Come on. What you got? Another box. Hold on, there's more. <laughs> that Christmas. How exciting. You've got socks in there. Ooh. What you got? We have salt life stuff. Hold on. We bid our families farewell, headed off to the airport where things went mostly well. <laughs> Ready to go on a plane? No. What is this? We're getting hail in Florida. Oh my god. I can't do this. Thank you. He's like excited now. Oh, 
We got lucky that Tucker slept for most of the flight. That doesn't usually happen, but it was about almost a three hour flight. So we got really lucky with that. And this guy has been sleeping almost the whole time. Look at that sleeping kid. Awesome. I wanted to take a moment to share with you guys the ritzy, high profile travel lifestyle we, we live. We have these very large uh, trays you could have your snack on. You have a you have a small snack. Here's here's the armrest. Last but certainly not least are these amazingly comfortable seats. Solid formed plastic seats that don't recline or move. They're just bolted to the ground. Tucker's getting ready to have his passport stamped. Oh, all right. All right. Three, two, Tucker! <laughs> Panama! <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Gracias. Thank you. As soon as we got to Panama, Jesse couldn't find any change for the luggage carts. Now, you saw how much luggage we had. Holy bags. So this was an issue. So now we got to get some carts to load this stuff up and grab a surfboard over there and then we're gonna see if we can get the circus out of here. Okay, so we need one more cart. It costs $3, I have $2 and four quarters, but the machine won't take quarters. So now I've gotta find somebody with a dollar I can give quarters to. So we'll see. They told me to come find the guy with the orange coat. We'll see if he's got a dollar I can trade. Okay, so dos, dos, tres. <laughs> Bienvenido, Panama. All right, thank you. Gracias, tenga buen día. It's very refreshing once you get outside the U.S. Many other countries are very uh, relaxed, which is good and bad, but uh, we were able to shoot a little video for Tucker's passport getting stamped in, in the customs. In the U.S., you couldn't even turn your camera on in customs yeah. without getting yelled at. But the uh, the tour agent or the customs agent was pretty pretty cool about us videoing him stamping Tucker's pa passport. So right now we're waiting for a shuttle bus to a hotel tonight. We're gonna stay at a hotel in Panama City. It was pretty nice. Just a direct flight. Boom, Orlando, straight to Panama. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here comes a bus. Uh oh. We'll be here in Panama City, the big town, so tomorrow morning we can get some essentials we're gonna need at our new house, our beach house. bed. Can you hold it for a minute? It's kind of kamikaze. So we're gonna get some things tomorrow morning before heading to our final destination, which is a little town on the Pacific coast of Panama, where we've uh, rented a house for a couple months. Uh, and anyways, it's been a, a handful today getting here this morning before even leaving the house in Florida, this, this freak massive, massive hailstorm popped up. Really severe wind and I, I mean the hail came down heavy. There was like some quarter size hail pieces that came down. And uh, that caught us off guard as we're trying to get ready to pack the truck. So that didn't happen. We got a little bit delayed. But we actually though, it ended up being good. We, we got to the airport nice and early. And so it all worked out by by giving that extra time. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Dead crab! Dead crab! 
cam. Do the dead cam. So in the next video, we're going to share our first night here in Panama. We're also going to share getting all the things you need for little ones to make living in a foreign country more comfortable and enjoyable. And then we get to see our new home base, beachside on the Pacific Ocean. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Ciao. <laughs>